Now at the very beginning of the class, when we were talking about attacker motivation, we said that BIOS lives on a flash chip soldered onto the motherboard. What we just saw with respect to the reset vector is that the reset vector is at 7 Fs and a 0, so 4 gigabytes minus 16 bytes. And the IP is set to that address in such a way that it'll start executing code from FFFF0. So code from FFF0 and the initial starting state is spy flash chip. That means that the hardware must automatically translate this memory address, this physical memory looking address, FFF0, into access to the spy flash chip. So what if I told you that you could actually partially control this mapping of memory to flash? Well, we can do that and we can see that by fiddling around with some registers that we don't really understand yet and we're just gonna totally get ahead of ourselves, but I just wanna kind of show you what some of this behind the scenes hardware doing stuff looks like and what you can control, what you can't control, because we're gonna be playing around a lot with this kind of thing in this class. So if you look in the Intel data sheets, before the modern spy flash chip became commonly in use, there was an older thing called the firmware hub, which was on the low pin count bus. So you could find things like this in the data sheet that were called the firmware hub decode enable register. And it basically said like, okay, well this address range FFF8000000, all the way to FFFF, that is going to be something that decodes the firmware hub. Now, if we look at a more modern thing, that will instead be called the BIOS decode enable, and this is going to be mapping to a spy flash chip. But again, it just says the exact same thing, and it's in the exact same location, and it's saying this address, FFF80000, all the way to all Fs, all of this is going to map into the spy flash chip. Now, what's interesting about this bit right here is that it says read only. So even though there's a zero option to disable this mapping, you can't actually do that. But bit 14, you can. This is a read-write thing. So for this range, three Fs and five zeros, all the way to FFF seven and four Fs, that range, you can actually control whether or not that physical memory address maps into the spy flash chip. And so if you toggle this bit to zero, then all of a sudden looking at that physical memory will go from looking at valid spy flash content to nothing at all. So let's go ahead and have you go do a lab on that where you fiddle with things and you change out this bit. You don't really understand anything yet about, you know, what all this means, LPC, IF, D31, F0, D8, D9, blah, blah, blah. You don't understand it yet, but you will by the end of this class. So for now, I'm just gonna give you basic instructions that say, go poke this bit and you're gonna see something change. And later on, you'll understand why that is.